<laughs> first things first, let me get that thumbnail, girl. <gasps> Chunky! You call me that? <laughs> oh, my knees. Uh, I feel like a whore. Welcome to a brand new taste test, y'all. Today, as you can see, I'm gonna be tasting every single chunky soup I could find at the store. I got 12. And of course, at the end of this delectable video, I'm gonna be ranking them from one to 12 so that y'all know which one's the worst and which one's the best, in my opinion. By the way, not sponsored. I just have to put that out there for the world. Ha! <sighs> Feels good to be on this squeaky chair again, y'all. What an interpretive moment. So, what a, what an era we're living in, guys. Every time I try to do like a normal taste test video, I'm just thinking like, so much is going on and I'm here stuffing my face. I mean, aren't we all? <laughs> but I'm doing it on camera, girl. So, a few things before we start. I just want to say, all these soups are completely cold. I'm going to heat them up as I taste test them. So, like, one at a time, I heat it up and then I taste test it. Because y'all know, sometimes I let my food get cold and y'all get grossed out. And this is, like, soup. So, I feel like it has to be hot. <laughs> or else, I'm going to get some backlash. And I do not want to be canceled by soup in 2020. Okay? That is just not the way that I want this to go. So, yes. Each soup will be totally hot. And, now, another thing that you guys might cancel me for. I am using paper bowls. Some people in the comments would have been saying, Timmy, you're killing the earth. I see your damn paper bowls. Well, guess what? I only have six soup bowls in my house and I have 12 soups. So I was like, I'll just get paper bowls just to make it easier. But I know there's no excuse. I'm sorry. Just please don't cancel me, okay? Everyone's stressed right now. And also, good news. The environment's kind of healing, right? So that's good. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. So chunky soups. I used to eat them all the time in my childhood and teenage years. We were kind of low on income most of my life. So this right here was a meal for us, okay? So I used to have them all the time, but I probably haven't had them, honestly, in like at least 12 years. So I'm very excited to see which flavors I like, which flavors I don't, which one's my favorite, which one's my least favorite. We're gonna find all that out today. So the flavors I got are pub style chicken pot pie, creamy chicken and dumplings. We stand, I hope that's good. Steak and potato. I love being a British legend, honestly. I honestly think I'm part British because like my mom is like white as hell. And I know that her like ancestors are from like all over Europe. So I'm sure I have some fish and chips in my blood. And of course, y'all know I am half Cubano. I had to say it. We have split pea and ham soup. Chicken con chowla. All these honestly sound great with a British accent. I can't. Wicked Thai style chicken rice and vegetables. Okay. Why does it say wicked? The wickedly talented. Adele Dazin. John Travolta gave us that meme and honestly blessed us way too much. Baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. Mm. Chicken broccoli cheese with potato. Very nice. A lot of potatoes up in here. Ah! Chicken noodle. Beef with country vegetables. I'm getting soup all over my hands. Chili mac. That's very exciting. I did not know that Chunky even made chili mac. That's very Chef Boyardee of them, right? And grilled chicken and sausage gumbo. So we have a lot to taste. I'm very excited. And also this is very quarantine-y kind of food. So I think this might help y'all purchase delicious soups and not like the crappy ones. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, I have memberships on my channel in case you didn't hear. I now have multiple different levels of membership. There's the true tomatoes, the silver tomatoes, and the gold tomatoes. The true tomatoes get to come to exclusive live streams and talk to me. It's so much fun. We have literally the best time. Um, the um, silver tomatoes get the live streams plus their picture gets to be in one of my videos every single month. And the gold tomatoes get to go to the live streams. They get the picture in my videos and they get access to a secret Twitter and Instagram where we all talk and communicate literally daily and it's so much fun. I've been having the funnest time getting to know all of you. It's just been the best thing ever. So if you want to join, hit that join button or click the link at the top of the description. I know it's a very difficult time for everyone, like financially. So please don't feel pressured to join. My videos will always be 100% free. This is just extra stuff if you want to. So please don't feel pressured. And if you want to join in the future, the membership will still be there. So don't worry about it. Um, anyways, I just want to say that quickly. Thank y'all for listening. Okay, let's get back to the taste test. Let's start with something simple. Let's just do chicken noodle, okay? <gasps> ah, it's spinning! Oh my god, these bowls are so full. <gasps> Who knew paper bowls were so flimsy? Oh my god, okay. Don't look at my crusty ass microwave. 
Okay, y'all, so it's nice and hot, very exciting. So this has two servings per container, but for me, it's all one serving because, hello, if I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat the whole damn can. I do not have a guinea pig sized stomach. So the whole container is 230 calories, eight grams of fat, 880 milligrams of sodium. Ooh, kind of drying. Felt a little <laughs> parched. 27 carbs, um, 16 grams of protein, okay. I love these thick ass noodles. We stand. For having so much sodium, it's not salty at all. I need some salt. Oh, look at my cheekbones. Salt, salt. Oh my God. Wow. We love being a model. Um, the noodles are delicious. I love them. Um, the carrots are quite, quite tender. And I like it a lot. Let's try the chicken though. I'm probably just gonna eat around the chicken when I eat this later. It is really not bad canned chicken, it's just canned chicken. And I'm not a big fan of canned chicken. It's that like grainy texture, you know? But the broth and the noodles and the carrots are actually kind of perfection minus the needing more salt. Fabulous, okay. Next up, let's do one of them creamy ones. We have a lot of creamy ones here. Let's do the creamy chicken and dumplings. So here's the chicken and dumplings. It doesn't smell good, to be honest. It smells like a like a pee. Not pee like from a genitalia, like pee like like this pee. Like this little bitch right here. Let's check out the stats, okay? The whole container is 370 calories, 21 grams of fat. Oh my god, the sodium. Oh my god. I literally just got dehydrated. My pee instantly just turned dark yellow, bitch. The sodium for the whole can is 1,900 and why in the Lord's name is there so much sodium in here? That's a whole day's worth of sodium or even more. I'm not sure crazy Crazy this could dry out my titty milk. Let's first try one of the dumplings. I love dumplings That was not a good dumpling Wow, wow, it really tasted like nothing like cardboard like air like just not good and it was very grainy wow let's just try everything else now the broth is okay but all the fillings are very bland and not good and it just tastes like nothing honestly for 1900 sodium this is just not simply not worth it no offense chunky but i do not like that at all and i love chicken and dumplings bitch let's try the wickedly talented thai style chicken so this one is 320 calories, 11 grams of fat, 1,700 milligrams of sodium. This is so much more than like a Linguazine or any of those brands. This, like this has me shook. Nothing against Chunky, but please be careful when you're buying these soups. Just check out the sodium first, because this is crazy. So this has white meat, chicken, rice, and vegetables in a Thai style sauce. That's it. So let's see how it tastes. It has a very strong cilantro-y flavor, like very strong. Um, it does have a nice little kick of spice, which I like. And the rice in it is good. It's not bad overall. So far, it definitely has the most flavor, but the cilantro flavor is quite strong. And I don't love cilantro. If you love it, you'll probably like this a lot, but I personally don't. So, it's okay. It's pretty good. Next up, let's try a beefy one. Let's do the steak and potatoes. So, my sister... Sarah, I know that you might be watching this. She has very trashy taste buds just like I do, but we are different kinds of trashy. I like things like trashy Taco Bell, things like that. She likes things like canned beef stew. That's like her favorite thing in the world. So this one's for you, Salita. Let's get a steak, a potato, everything in here. Genuinely guys, I like it more than the chicken. I think that the steak really isn't that bad. I've had worse like canned beef. This is really not bad at all. Um, the potatoes taste good. The broth tastes actually very good. Oh wait, I didn't read off the things. The whole can is 250 calories, only six grams of fat. Wow, very low. 1900 milligrams of sodium. I know they're all like this, but I can't get used to it. It's very, it's hard. Mm. Sarah Paulson. Mm, my girl. 
love her. It's just, it's difficult. Um, they're just a lot of sodium, but this one really isn't that bad. I like the broth, I like the flavor, I like the beef, I like the potatoes, everything's pretty good. So, not bad. Next up, let's do the chicken corn chowder. The corn chowder has 310 calories, seven grams of fat, 890 milligrams for the whole can, so that is really not bad compared to some of the others. It has about a thousand less. 47 grams of carbs, 7 grams of sugar, 15 grams of protein. Okay, let's try this corn chowder. Usually I like corn soups. I don't mind them, so let's see. Mmm. It's really not bad. The corn is actually very crunchy and fresh tasting, strangely. The flavor, once again, needs salt a lot. But other than that, it has a nice, pleasant, sweet, decent corn chowder flavor. Of course, it tastes like canned soup, but for canned soup, it doesn't taste bad at all. So next up, let's do the chili mac. It smells quite nice. It smells like a Hormel chili. I used to love Hormel chili. I see it all the time on top of some white rice. That's a good, cheap meal right there, bitch. But I haven't had it in a while either. Anyways, this whole can is 440 calories, 15 grams of fat, 1,720 milligrams of sodium, 56 grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein. Okay. So we got noodles, we got beef, we got little tomato pieces, we got uh, beans. My anus is preparing its vocals for the gas show later on. We love that for me. Let's just get a big bite and try it. Mmm. Mm. This one is actually delicious. It tastes just like a uh, hormel chili, but with noodles. So it's more of a well-rounded meal. <laughs> Very flavorful. Um, the meat isn't bad at all. It tastes like canned beef, but it's really not bad. The noodles are great. Look at this long ass noodle right here. It's a damn candy cane shape. What is that? Y'all see that? Looks like a pee pee. Oh my God. Overall, so far, this one is at the top of the pack, but we'll see during the ranking if it actually stays there. This is very, very, very good. I am impressed. Next up, let's do chicken, broccoli, cheese, and potato. This one actually smells quite delicious. It smells very good. The whole can is 410 calories, 23 grams of fat, 1,940 milligrams of sodium, 34 grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein. Honestly, it kind of smells like Panera's uh, broccoli and cheddar soup. I'm sure it's not gonna be that good. Don't get your hopes up, bitch, but that is what it smells like, so let's try it. Honestly, it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. The actual broth is very broccoli cheddar, like bam. Like it doesn't need salt. It has the flavor all there. The potatoes do taste a little meh in it, but honestly, it is one of the better ones for sure. Like for sure. This makes me miss eating out though, because I used to always go to Panera and oh, I love their tomato soup and their kitchen sink cookie is so delicious, but it's so bad guys. It's so dirty, but it's so good. Next up, let's try the split pea and ham soup. This one actually looks pretty good. So this says split pea and ham with natural smoke flavor. How do you get natural smoke flavor? I, I'm not a scientist, but do you just like go and capture some smoke outside? Like whoo! It also says that it's heart healthy. So let's see what the stats are. The whole can is 360 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 900 milligrams of sodium, <laughs> and 53 grams of carbs. Okay, I'm not a doctor, but I don't know if that much sodium is good for the heart. Let's take a bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Um, I like the split pea flavor. It's good. It did get a little bitter while I was chewing. I don't know why there was a there was a slight bitterness, but it wasn't bad. I want to try the ham now because I didn't try that before. Mmm. Mmm. It's weird. The ham is very flaky and not much flavor. It's just like a chewy, flaky meat. Um, but the actual soup itself really isn't that bad. So, we'll see where it ranks. Next up, let's do the grilled chicken and sausage gumbo. So, this one has 310 calories, 8 grams of fat, 1,850 milligrams of sodium, 45 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein. Honestly, guys, like, if you're gonna eat this much sodium, like, personally, I would rather have, like, a ramen noodle. It's way more delicious. No offense, chunky, but it is. I know this has meat and stuff in it, but the meat ain't worth it. <laughs> By the way, this is all just my opinion. Don't hurt me, Chunky. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try the sausage gumbo. Mm. 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 Honestly, this one's one of the best. The sausage 
feels like real sausage. There's a nice spice to the whole soup. Um, the rice tastes great. Um, it's just nice, spicy, salty, and pretty delicious. This is definitely one of the best. We only have three left, guys. We have baked potato, beef with vegetables, and chicken pot pie. Let's do chicken pot pie. Okay. So it says pot pie, but what does it have in it? It doesn't say. Oh, it has dumplings. So is it chicken and dumplings? It definitely smells just like it, but with more of a dog food essence. No offense, Chunky. It just has some canine essence, you know? Let's try it out. Mm-mm. 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 Ew! Oh my god. It is exactly like the chicken and dumplings one, but worse. Somehow, just more processed, more dirty. I don't even know. I just did not like that flavor at all. The texture, I literally had to spit it out. I could not. It's just so grainy. Why is it grainy? Why is a dumpling grainy? A dumpling is not supposed to be grainy. It's supposed to be fluffy. Are we on a beach? Are we eating sand? I don't think so. Next up, let's do the beef with vegetables. So it seems like the beef and vegetables has beef, potatoes, uh, celery, carrots, and peas. It is only 3.5 grams of fat, very low, 1,870 milligrams of sodium, 35 grams of carbs, and it smells like dog food. Again, I don't understand. It really smells like dog food, like soft canned dog food, maybe fancy dog food. I wanna get everything in one bite. There we go. Uh oh, oh, oh! I'm not being dramatic. That one genuinely tasted like dog food. Y'all know I mix um, soft can dog food with my dogs like hard dog food, like to make them eat it. It tasted just like how their soft food smells. I literally almost gagged. I cannot, I'm sorry. That is by far the worst so far. We have one more. Lord, beef with vegetables, you are rotten. Last but not least, we have the baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. This taste test has been kind of negative, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm always honest. If I don't like it, I don't like it, period. Okay, so y'all know that I, I do not appreciate a fake bacon smell or flavor. It's in a lot of baked potato flavored things, like baked potato chips, baked potato soups. It just smells like a bacon dog treat, you know what I mean? And this has that smell. It's 400 calories, 19 grams of fat, 1,720 milligrams of sodium. Okay, enough, enough! Let's try this bitch out. This one's not bad. It does have that fake bacon flavor, but it's not terrible. The potatoes are eh, everything's eh, but it's just not that bad. So, anyways, I'm done taste testing. I'm very happy about that. Let's rank all the soups from worst to best right now. Okay, so the grossest by far, in my opinion, is the beef with country vegetables. And then I have to go with the pub style chicken pot pie. And then the chicken and dumpling. Ooh. And then the baked potato. And then the chicken corn chowder. And then the Thai one. And then steak and potato. These six aren't that bad, okay? And then I think split pea, the broccoli and cheese one. And then the gumbo and then the chicken noodle, and then the chili mac. The chili mac was by far the best in my opinion. Some of these are bearable, some of these aren't, and I'm not a big Chunky fan, but let me know in the comments below if you like Chunky, or if you like a different brand of soup, let me know, okay? By the way, don't forget, if you are interested in my membership, the link will be at the top of the description, or hit the join button. I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much. Ooh.